let's take a look at how to divide numbers ending in zeros. Mackenzie develops 1,200 pictures from 40 rolls of film. How many pictures does each roll of film hold? Well, we would need to set this up as a division problem to figure that out. We could say 1,200 divided by 40. And remember, fractions are the same thing as division. I like to write my division this way. Now, since there's zeros in here, we can make this problem a little simpler because every time there's a zero, that represents a factor of 10. So for example, on the top, we could say 120 times 10 would give us 1,200. And on the bottom, we can say 4 times 10 would give us 10. So we could cancel out those factors and say 120 divided by 4. Now to make our mental math easier, we could think of it as 12 divided by 4, right? 12 divided by 4 gives us 3, and then we're going to have that extra 0 on top. So that would give us 30. So we're saying, so if you wanted to look at this this way, if this makes it a little easier to see, once we cancel the factor of 10, we're basically saying 4 goes into 12 three times. That gives me 12. And if you bring down the zero, four goes into zero, zero times. So the easy mental math way to do that without setting up the long division problem is to say, okay, well, 12 divided by four is three, and then I know it's gonna have the extra zero on it because it was 120, not just 12. Coffee shop is interested on saving money by ordering cream more accurately to avoid it spoiling. Over the last week, they collected data and found that they used 360 pitchers of cream for nine customers. What is the average cream per customer? Okay, well, if it was 360 pitchers for nine customers, we're gonna divide 360 divided by nine. Okay, well remember to make our mental math easier, we, we can just think of it as 36 divided by 9, that gives us 4, and we're going to have an extra 0 on our answer, since it was 360, not just 36. So that means the average cream per customer was 40 pitchers. Angela develops 40 pictures from two rolls of film. How many picture does each roll of film hold? Okay, well, we're going to set this up as a division problem, right? You can write it as a fraction. If you prefer your division sign, you can write it this way. It means the same thing to say 40 divided by 2 this way, or you could write it as 40 divided by 2 as a fraction, 40 over 2. So whichever one you prefer is fine. We're thinking of it the exact same way. And again, you, to make the mental math easier, you can ignore the 0 and say, okay, 4 divided by 2 gives me 2. And then I know there's going to be an extra zero on my answer because it was 40 divided by 2, not just 4. So each roll of film holds 20 pictures. A coffee shop is interested on in saving money by ordering ice cream more accurately, I'm sorry, ordering cream more accurately to avoid it spoiling. Over the last week, they collected data and found that they used 1,200 pitchers of cream for 40 customers. Okay, well, to find the average cream per customer, we would have to divide, right? 1,200 divided by 40. Okay, so to make this problem a little easier, I can cancel one of the zeros on the top with one of the zeros on the bottom. Basically, I'm thinking of that each zero is a factor of 10, right? 120 times 10 would give me 1,200, and 4 times 10 would give me 40. Now, if you want to, you could write it out this way. It might be a little easier to see that I'm canceling out a factor of 10. So now I'm just thinking 120 divided by 4. Well, 4 goes into 12 three times. And I'm going to have an extra zero on that since it was 120, not just 12. 
So the average cream per customer would have been 30 pitchers. An architect is measuring how many rooms they can put in their latest project. There's a total of 2,000 square feet and they want each room to be 40 square feet. How many rooms can the architect build in the space? Okay, well we would have to divide the total square footage, right, 2,000 square feet, divided by the square footage of each room, which was 40. Now, just like before, I can cancel a factor of 10 by getting rid of a zero on each of these, right? If I cut the top down by one zero, that's 200. And if I cut the bottom down by one zero, that's four. So that's basically dividing out a factor of 10 or crossing out one of the zeros for each. Okay, well, to make my math easier, think of how many times does four go into 20? Well, four goes into 20 five times, and then I know there's gonna be one more zero on our answer since it was 200 divided by four, not just 20 divided by four. So they can build 50 rooms in that space. Connor travels a lot. He keeps track of distance traveled in his car, as well as how much gas he has bought. Connor wants to know how efficient his car is. He traveled 300 kil kilometers and bought 30 liters of gas. What is Connor's gas mileage? Okay, well, if we divide the total distance that he drove by the liters of gas that he bought, that should give us our gas mileage. Okay, well notice they both end in zeros. So I can cancel out a factor of 10 by cutting each of those numbers down by one zero. So this is the same thing as 120 divided by three. Now to make my mental math easy, think of it as 12 divided by three for just a second. 12 divided by three would give me four. And then I know there's gonna be an extra zero on my answer since it was 120, right? That had one zero on the end, not just 12. So Connor's gas mileage would be 40 kilometers per liter.